Now, Greater Brisbane's lockdown has lifted and there's some reprieve, but the tourism industry is still feeling the full effects of the stay-at-home order. Operators have been expecting, or had at least been expecting, a bumper Easter season, but bookings dropped from full capacity to 30% when the snap three-day lockdown was announced. Joining me now is Daniel Geschwind, the CEO of Queensland Tourism Council. Thanks so much, Daniel. I appreciate your time. So, does this tell us that most of those that had booked were from interstate and couldn't get there? Well, good morning, Laura. Look, many people are from interstate, and I say are because we certainly hope to still see them. The airlines told us that everybody held on to their airline bookings to the last minute and subsequently obviously travelled now or will travel because the lockdown has been lifted, as you say. So all the regions of Queensland are ready to welcome visitors from interstate. There are plenty of flights coming in. Yesterday we had the uh, kickoff of the uh, federal government's subsidised flight program. We understand 200,000 tickets have been sold and a very big number of those, a big portion of those into Queensland. So we're ready, Laura, to welcome visitors. We're ready to make up for lost ground. And we hope we have a great Easter and we can show everybody a great time up here. Yeah, certainly we've got our fingers crossed for you as well and all those businesses, particularly in the north of Queensland. You mentioned the subsidised flight program and 200,000 uh, flights are booked. We hope that's the case. But are you seeing any, any evidence of, of a kick on from that with uh, hotel bookings and, and restaurant bookings and bookings with tour operators and the like? Yes, we are seeing that. That's definitely true. And look, I think everybody in Australia is ready to have a break. I mean, we've been uh, all going through a pretty tough year and no one more so than the tourism operators. Mm. So I think we're all ready for a break and people take advantage of that uh, opportunity. Now there is pent up demand. We have plenty of regions of, in Queensland that are uh, providing very, very vastly different experiences, as is the rest of the country. And we hope that all those operators will find some joy after an exceptionally difficult year. It's a long road to recovery, but uh, we're ready to start. It's mm. a great time of year. The IFBAG is ready to rock and roll. North Queensland is going into the dry season slowly. The southeast corner is always looking great. So we're ready for you. <laughs> Yeah, the southeast corner is a beautiful part of the world indeed and plenty of places, uh, places to pick there. Now, uh, Daniel, this three-day lockdown, really, it's probably something none of us were expecting because just two weeks ago, the chief me medical officer with the vaccine rollout said, you know, we're not going to go into lockdown anymore. So did this lockdown hurt perhaps even more than others gone by? Well, it certainly was a surprise. I have to be honest with you, Laura. We didn't expect it. We didn't see it coming. And uh, like you, we were all expecting the lockdowns to be a thing of the past, but it did happen. It's very unfortunate. We hope that that can be avoided in the future. We have exceptionally good tracing throughout the country. We have really good testing regimes throughout the country. And we certainly hope, and we are in fact appeal to both the state and federal governments to roll out these vaccines as soon as possible. So it can be added to the measures that we have to prevent these drastic measures like lockdowns and border closures. We can't mm. go on like that. And, uh, you know, as you say, this latest lockdown was certainly a blow. And every time it happens, it dents consumer confidence and it takes a little longer to rebuild that consumer confidence. So we really uh, are certainly hoping that all states work together. And incidentally, we also hope that all the other states and territories now reflect the lift of the lockdown in Brisbane in their measures so that visitors can return to their home state without any uh, worries or, uh, or dramas. So when you hear the Prime Minister say about the vaccine rollout, we're not in a rush and it's not a competition, <laughs> you would politely disagree? Well, I think it is certainly an urgent, urgent task that governments have, and we absolutely want this to, to want this to roll out as quickly as possible. We need the supplies now. The domestic um, manufacturers in place. We hope that that can be accelerated. We really need to crank it up. We are in a competition for really good con uh, operating co uh, conditions for businesses and the community. We Australia had a huge or has a huge advantage. We are miles ahead of the rest of the world, and we're grateful for that. We're thankful to all the work that's gone in by health officials and politicians to make it uh, so uh, smooth in Australia overall. Now we have to keep up the pace and roll up the vaccines to make sure we can continue towards uh, normality in our lives. Yep, we're all looking for a bit of normality in our lives. It's been um, too exciting indeed over the last year. <laughs> Daniel Gishwin, appreciate your time as always and good luck. Thank you very much, Laura. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.